Well, I can sure see trouble brewing here. Look at that elevation change off that grassy area to a, a retaining wall and then a beautiful concrete slab that's been uh, stamped. And what's going to happen? Water is going to run down underneath, right on that hard pan, on the water table, down underneath. It's going to come up against that wall, down underneath that slab, and it's going to get down here to the point where it's wanting to exit, but it runs into some fairly hard soil. And there's also some clay in there as well. The water will build up and back up in underneath that concrete slab. And if you ever get cold weather, away it goes. Crack just make one heck of a mess. Well, I think what I better do is show what we can do by putting in what I call the buzz drain. And we're going to dig a trench right along the side here and uh, put in some, well, I'll show you. But first of all, I better get the gloves on here and get at it. Now, you can see I got the trench dug here. I dug up the width of the shovel, and it's approximately 14 inches deep. Now, you can see here, here's one of the boulders that we took out of the hole. And the reason why that this buzz drain works so well, you can appreciate with that boulder in underneath the slab, if there's ever any water underneath and it's contained there, then any freezing of frost up under the underside of the slab and away the slab goes. Now, look at, look at here, water. If I rock that rock back and forth, there's the water. Look at that. Now, that's what we got to get out of there. Now, the way we're going to get it out, I'm going to put in a big old drain pipe, perforated, this material here, I'm going to put it into the trench, I'm going to cap the end, run it down to the curb, tee it around the corner, and then I'm going to put uh, another tee in place. That way uh, it'll uh, perk the water out of here, that way not allowing any frost to uh, heave this slab and cause damage. Now, I'm going to put a blind T on it. You can see there's an open end and a blank end, but it gets me around the corner like an elbow. Now, I'm going to put another T at the end as a riser. Now, what I mean by a riser, it's going to actually set shooting upwards. Water is going to come down the perforated pipe, running into the vertical riser T here, and the water's going to dribble in, and it's going to now perk out the top, because I'm going to fill this all full of gravel, and it'll run and then run on down through the grassy area, watering the grass as well as getting it away from the slab. Now, I'm putting drain rock over, over top of the big old pipe. This way, this way it'll stop any impediment of water whatsoever. It won't be trapped in any area. That way, allowing the water to go through the drain rock, in through the perforations in the big old pipe, and drain down the incline around the corner and array into the grassy area. Now I'm going to take this landscaping fabric here that's three feet wide and I'm going to roll it out to the full length of the driveway. Then I'm going to fold it into third and I'm going to tuck it in on top of the drain rock. That way when we backfill it eliminate any of the silting going down through impeding the drainage. Now in this backfilling in on top of the, uh, the filter cloth and I'm taking out any of the large stones because that way it, uh, they won't come up through the, uh, the topsoil and when we put the uh, sod and uh, grass seed back into place. Now I've already pre-cut some of the straps here and let me get it into place and I'll show you that, uh, whoops, I guess we better put it green side up. Now you'll notice here that some of the grass is yellowed, but that's just from being piled tight in the uh, debris pile, but that'll come back. That'll come back and it'll be just as hardy as any grass would be. Now, I'm using a drywall knife. They're very inexpensive, handy around the house as well. And just pick it up and cut. Well, there you have it, the buzz drain all installed. Now the water can come down underneath the soil conditions, underneath that retaining wall, underneath the slab, and drop into the buzz drain and drain right away. You can almost see it seeping into the sod there now where I've watered it, and away off it'll go, being filtered as well before it even goes in to the big old pipe. It's a real easy project. Why don't you give it a try? Mm -hmm.